Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Revive Me and today I'm going to show you how to set up Eichmann Go for Xbox Dev Mode. So before we start this, I want to give a huge shout out to Whirly DO. He's the one for making this port possible on Dev Mode. And now we finally have the long-awaited Eichmann Go on Xbox. Please keep in mind this is still in testing phase. Mods do work, but the online net play is currently not working. So until a later update, I will make an updated video talking about it when it comes. Alright, so for this tutorial, before we actually start, you will need your Xbox to be in dev mode, and you will also need to allow special permissions to your external drive. If you don't have either one of those set up, I highly recommend checking out the playlist down below where you can find all my videos for Xbox dev mode related things. For this tutorial, you will need two things. You will need the Eichmann Go UWP MSIX bundle, and you will need the Eichmann USB folder. For this file here, you can either find it on the Xbox dev store, but if it's not there currently, you can find it within the Discord link below. At the moment, this only works for external drives, so please keep that in mind. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is add our USB folders to our external drive. I currently have pre-made folders in the Discord if you are there. Just right click on it and depending on your extractor, I have WinRAR, so I'm just gonna hover over it and go to extract file. And then all we're simply gonna do is drag and drop this onto our external drive. And I already have it, so I'm not gonna do that, but that's basically what you do. And then now we have completed the USB setup. And now I'm gonna show you how to install your app for dev mode. Now I'm going to show you the remote access at the bottom. So simply click on remote access settings. And what we're going to do is enable the Xbox dev portal. What this will do is this is where we will install our apps. We would have to do this from the computer or your phone. Make sure to keep a screenshot of this because anytime you want to enter the access portal on your computer, you're going to have to use either one or two links, whichever one works for you. And then at the bottom, there's the authentication where you can set a password and username me personally i just keep this unchecked it's just a little easier to get onto the page without having to enter your information every time and then what we're going to do is we're going to leave our xbox on this page i bet so what we're going to do is switch over to the pc we're going to enter in one of the links for the access portal and then there's some settings we're going to change from there and then you should be good to go all right another one the computer what we're going to do is enter in one of those links and yes, please add the HTTPS within it. And then once you enter in the link, you should get a page that says your connection is not private. Attackers might attempt to steal your information. Simply at the bottom, click on advanced and proceed. All right, bet. Once we get to the access portal, underneath my games and apps, click on add. Now look for that file that you just downloaded for the Eichmann Go APPX file and simply drag and drop it. And then click on next. This has no necessary dependencies needed, so just click on start. I bet once this is finished, click on done. Now we're gonna head to the Xbox and make sure this loads in properly. All right, now that we're on our Xbox and we're in dev mode, the first thing you wanna do is look for the app, hover over it, press the select button on it, go to view details, make sure to change it from an app to a game, unless you have those settings by default. And then all we're gonna do is press B and open it right up. Awesome, so now we know that the USB setup is working properly. By default, it's gonna be in four by three aspect ratio. So what we're gonna do is simply go down to the options, head over to the video settings. Now, please keep in mind, if you change the full screen from no to yes, this will cause the app to crash and possibly not work. So instead of using this, go into the resolution settings. For me personally, I've tested this on the Xbox Series X and had no issues bumping it up to 1920 by 1080. I'm not sure if it's going to work properly with Series S, but I highly recommend trying it out and let us know how it's working for you. So I'm just going to change it to 1920 by 1080. Head down and go to back. At the very bottom, click on save and return. And then when it says some selected options require Eichmann to be restarted, press any key to exit the program, press the select button, the app will crash, which is perfectly fine. And then simply open it back up. It might be a black screen, so I highly recommend pressing the Xbox button and quitting the app again. And then open it up one last time. 
and now that we're loaded in now you can see we are in full screen and we're ready to go all right so another thing is if you were to go into the character selection and let's say you wanted to go back what you would do is press the select button on the controller and that will go back and lastly all the controls are already set up to the controller properly so you shouldn't have any issues with that and you should be good to go and that's pretty much it if you guys enjoyed this tutorial please hit that like and follow for more videos if you guys have any issues with this please let me know down below or in the discord and we'll figure it out have a great day